27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. I'm pretty quiet out there right now. It was an absolutely gorgeous day today. High temperatures reaching the mid 80s. Plenty of sunshine throughout the region earlier on, and we're going to continue to see the pleasant weather persist at least throughout the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning as well. So here's where we stand right now. East wash looking relatively quiet temperatures. Beautiful 71 degrees. Your current temperature uh, still a decent amount of moisture in the atmosphere at this time, but all in all, not all that uncomfortable. Currently, we're going to continue to see the pleasant, quiet weather persist throughout the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning. There's your future track showing those conditions remain clear, dry and comfortable. Morning low temperatures, however, tumbling back down to those mid to low 60s. But notice only a few light clouds. Our future track wanting to bring in a couple isolated rain showers. I'm anticipating dry conditions. If you're headed out to that uh, art fair on the square tomorrow morning, the earlier you go, the better off you'll be. Not only will you have the pick of the litter with the art, but but temperatures will be comfortable. That event kicks off on Saturday, right around 74 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, noon, right around 83 degrees. By 3 o'clock, we're pushing 89. That's about as hot as we get. Feels like temperatures by 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, feeling like 92, 3, maybe 4 degrees. So it's going to be pretty toasty out there during the early afternoon. But notice, we stay dry between 9 and 6 o'clock. It's after that we start talking about the potential threat for strong to severe storms. Let's pick that future track up between 8 and 9 reaching our northern and westernmost communities. A pretty well-developed line of thunderstorms. Now, some of these storms really generating that threat of damaging winds. You can see the Boeing structure to these storms setting up to the north and west of us, reaching Dane County and Madison between 10 p.m. and 11 o'clock in the evening. Now, again, you can see those areas of purple embedded within the storm. That's where you're looking at the greatest threat of that damaging wind, large hail threat. The good news, it looks like the worst of that potentially uh, tornadic activity will be well off to the west into the northwest of us. So we are still watching this. It looks like the worst of those storms passing out of our region between midnight and about one o'clock in the morning. After that, things begin to quiet down, but not before the Storm Prediction Center has expanded that threat of uh, severe weather. You can see the two on the threat index essentially for the northern half of the region areas north of Madison, uh, Madison in the southern half of the area under that marginal risk of severe weather. That is a one and a two on the threat index for tomorrow evening. Basics, 8 p.m. to around 1 o'clock in the morning. That five-hour stretch, damaging wind, large hail, isolated tornadic threat, all on the table Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Now, that's not the last of the potentially bumpy weather. We wake up the morning low temperatures, the upper 60s and low 70s early Sunday morning. But by 6 o'clock, notice the skies across the region looking relatively clear. We fast forward to around 11 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures in the mid 80s by then and high temperatures early Sunday afternoon in the low 90s. Now again, added cloud cover, maybe a few isolated rain showers. Sunday afternoon will likely be dry. It's Sunday evening. We not only start to see more of that heat and humidity possibly fuel additional storms, but the threat of severe weather. But before we get there, 91 your high temperature, feeling like 102 degrees. This is downright dangerous heat on Sunday afternoon. Then again on Monday, there's your threat of severe weather. Now, as of right now, the entire state under that marginal threat of severe weather, that's a one out of five on the threat index. On Monday, we're actually looking at a bit of a wider threat. This is, goes beyond that uh, three day stretch when the SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, will place us under that one to five on the threat index. Uh, this is uh, looking just a 15% chance of scattered severe weather. So we're watching this. Essentially what it means is that uh, both Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, and Monday could bring about severe weather. But beyond that, we finally cool off. 91 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 83, 78 by Wednesday. Cooler weather finally returning. Hmm. Oh, those good? Thanks, Cam. Oh. Yeah, I'm on a diet. Come on, Brandon. I'm have some Granted, I did eat Cam, all of them. Cam brought us French fries for <laughs> French fry Friday. I don't think Friday. I got any of these fries. Yeah, yeah it's well, it's national it soap Friday today. Thanks, Cam. You're such a pal. And Portillo's, Portillo's with the cheese sauce too, Cam. Good. You gotta get the Portillo's, man. It's teaching us something here. Oh. Yeah, taste I like it. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Thanks, guys.